Today is Garfield's 42nd anniversary. Happy birthday, Garfield! Woo! It's also Garfield's first anniversary since the series was bought out by Viacom. And what did they do to celebrate this year? They deleted Garfield.com. Viacom is historically pretty terrible. I mean, you have to be pretty evil to block RollerCast Episode 5 off of YouTube. I don't think anybody was excited about Viacom buying Paws Inc, and a lot of us were pretty scared for the Garfield brand going forward. After Paws Inc was acquired, the Garfield Twitter account went silent for some time. The Garfield Twitter account was always very wholesome and in line with what the Garfield comic strips were like. The first major warning sign of what was to come was when the Twitter account management changed, now trying desperately to be relevant and meme and it really doesn't work for a few reasons. Humor is subjective, and I'm sure that there are people who find these funny, but these are not Garfield jokes. It really feels like they don't understand the identity of the Garfield property, which is not really a good sign for the upcoming Garfield show on Nickelodeon. And now we come to the Garfield website being removed, which is bad for several reasons. Garfield.com was by far the easiest way to not only read Garfield comic strips, but also search for specific strips, and not to mention practically the only place online where you can read US Acres. All of those Garfield Flash games on the site are now gone too. Many of these are hosted on other websites, but with Flash 9 at the end of the year, who knows how long those will last. I was able to save the files for some of these to be played outside of a browser, but some of them, such as the Scary Scavenger Hunt games, Crazy Kennel Breakout, and Mystic Forest Adventure, I was not able to save. If there's anyone watching this who's better at this kind of stuff than me and wants to help archive these games, please let me know. I have so many fond memories of Garfield.com from when I was a kid. I think what bothers me the most about this whole situation is that they really want everyone to know that Garfield belongs to Nickelodeon. Both the Garfield and Nickelodeon Twitter accounts keep showing pictures of Garfield with all of the Nickelodeon characters, and they removed the Garfield website just to have it link to Nickelodeon. Who knows what other Garfield-related stuff is going to be affected by this. We haven't seen anything from Nick's new Garfield cartoon that they're working on, but if everything so far is anything to go off of, I don't think many of us are looking forward to it. And things are even worse if you're a US Acres fan, there's not even anywhere to read that comic anymore. Happy 42nd anniversary, Garfield! Yay! Happy birthday, happy birthday, whoop dee doo whoop dee doo May your day be pleasant, open up your present just for you, just for you. Happy birthday, happy...